Ned Meat here from the Clan Elias, bringing you three stars from our Clan Wars. So uh, the next one I'm going to share from the uh, War Against Skullbreakers uh, is um, it's actually my brother, uh, Crouching T's attack here. Uh, so just share this. So straight away you can probably recognize this is uh, the internet base called the Vmote. Um, actually, I've already got a video up on the channel um, from Chili Willy who three-starred it with uh, a Gohog, which is actually the same force as Crouching T here is using. They both do it in quite different ways, and so I'm, you know, my my recommendation would be that if it is that you're interested in uh, trying to three-star this Vmo base with Gohog, then I'd watch both the videos. It gives you both of them give you very both uh, two different angles uh, as to the way of doing it, um, but. So coming, having a little look at his formation down the bottom there, he's got um, his golem and he's got a clan castle, um, which is a, a max golem as well. He's got 24 hogs, 14 wizards. He's got quite a lot of wizards there. And three heal and one jump spell and his two heroes. Um, so then, so let's have a little look at this base. So the V-Mote, there's a few things we know about the V-Mote. Um, firstly, the space there is nearly always um, a giant bomb. And it's the same on the other. Uh, nearly every single time I've seen this base be attacked, that is the case. Then what you normally have in the in the V just underneath the town hall, you have the four Tesla. But often, depending, you'll either have two giant bombs up there with the Tesla, or you'll have the two giant bombs slightly lower down um, where that whiz tower is. Um, yeah, cool. So they're, they're sort of areas of warning, should we say, or areas that you want to you want to keep an eye on. Um, Crouching T does a brilliant job here to make sure that his hogs are safe throughout all of the possible threat areas to the giant bombs. Um, so uh, Crouching T actually, um, so he comes from the bottom. Um, so let's uh, we'll, we'll watch this attack back. Because of the reach of the uh, whiz tower there, he's coming with his wizards first, and then his, his golem's coming in uh, to clear away, wanting to just sort of clear away all of the scrap buildings around the edges first. Uh, coming with the wall breakers at the, at the front there, so that the golems will then meet in the middle, and his, both his heroes have come down. So now the golem and uh, the golems and whatever's on either side have then made sure that the jump spells are not there. Which what that means, I'm just going to pause this a second. You can actually see one of them there because the jump um, because the giant bombs are not in the, this bottom location. Um, then you can see where the giant bombs are going to be. The four Teslas have come up, and the giant bombs are sitting in that bottom location there. Um, so let's carry on with that. So there's a lot going on there for for, for uh, Crouching T's uh, kill squad, but actually it's the most ideal time to do it. You know everything was quite tough. His hero, his king, has just gone down. So I'm going to have to pause that a second. Um, his hero has his, his his barb king has gone down, but his golems are still there. His dra the, the 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 clan castle dragon is still focusing on the golem, and the queen is just there to then take that out. There's also a wizard which is supporting that golem in taking out that Tesla as well. So at this point, just looking at the base, now this is actually to me is a, is a slight down, uh, a slight design flaw of the V mode because what you've got is you've got this little V at the top, but that's actually giving separation. And so when uh, when uh, uh, Crouching T deploys his hogs on the right hand side here, as you'll see the hogs stay in this whole middle section and, and, and go through the prime areas and and to, and kill all of the def defense on the other side before going up at the top because that almost that V is almost forcing them to do that which is actually in this situation I didn't realize in, in earlier attacks on this but actually in this situation it shows that that's actually very beneficial so here he comes on the side putting the heal spell nicely he knows where that giant bomb is going to be so the heal spell has gone in preparation for that um, so he's then so basically he's just walking from heal spell to heal spell, 
um, so that so the hogs are just never ever leaving a heel spell. And there you go again. He's put it down. Obviously that that AD has gone down, so it's not a big issue. But that there is a giant bomb there, so it's just to make sure that he's safe with that. At this point, the hogs split up. But as you can see, I mean, he's hardly lost any hogs. This is this is an absolute um, an absolute wipeout when it comes to when it comes to three starring of the of the Vmote right here. Fantastic. So I'll fast forward that. So that I mean that is pretty much uh, uh, an you know a, a flawless method of taking out the Vmo with a gohog. Um, so yeah, so hope you enjoyed that. Well done there for Mr. Mr. Crouching T. That was a super attack. You can see the formation at the bottom there. So it's the two golem, the fourteen wizards, and the twenty four hogs. Um, he's got one goblin in there because you just never know when you're going to need a goblin. <laughs> cool. And then there's also the three heal spells on the side. So I hope you've enjoyed that. Um, do you know if you feel that there's anyone in the clan? If you're if you're if you get to a war and you're up against this base, um, do share it. It's always you know. It's, uh, um, I think that you learn a lot by by especially going up against internet bases and learning from other people's other people's strategies. So do share it with your clan. Um, and subscribe and like. We've got many videos that are going to be coming up. And comment as well if you've got any questions. Uh, do ask away. Cool. Hope you enjoyed it.